All right, so we're gonna get our design going here. I'm just gonna be using my Vinyl Master software, which I used for my vinyl cutter. So first off, I'm gonna import my images that I'm going to piece together here from my desktop. We're gonna drag the globe in there. And then this one here, we're gonna vectorize that one, trace it out, accept, and we're gonna right click on it, I'm gonna ungroup all. I do not need this globe. And then we're going to shrink up the Marines and the few, the proud. And then we're gonna take the proud, stack that underneath here. Mine kind of self-centered, so we'll put that there. Go a little bit shorter on the Marines here. The reason I'm stacking it is because obviously a pen is long and uh, pretty skinny. So we got that there, got our globe here, we'll shrink that up to size now. Center it all up. As you can see my little squares go on each side of the marine there, so it's nice and centered. You gotta kick this over just a little bit. Use your lines that guide you to the side of the letters. All right, so that's all there. I do gotta change this Marines to white, the, the text, because my background is gonna be black. So we're just gonna make a black square. Put that there. And we're gonna send it to the back. And then clicking on my uh, black square, I know I need it two point, um, 2.035, eight ish about, just over three inches. I mean, just over two inches. Oh, I did that wrong. That's supposed to be my height. And then my length is one and a half to wrap it around the pen tube itself. So then we'll take all of my other stuff here. We're gonna shrink that up. And you want the designed to be kind of just on the one half of the pen so you don't have to turn the whole thing around to see all the words. So that's going to be even quite a bit smaller. We'll zoom in on that a little bit and get it centered as best as possible. All right, so that's all there is to making your design. Um, obviously I'm doing Marines. You can pretty much find anything off of Google or whatever your preferred search engine is and kind of piece it together. Um, the Marines logo, you can do it um, without a license as long as your business does not make over $5,000 a year. So that is very nice of them. Um, otherwise, it's very easy to get a licensing deal with the Marines to use their logo. Just go on uh, 
go on the marine or just google marines licensing logo and they have a form right there you just send them but so i got all that designed here i'm just going to go up and print that and uh then i'll show you wrapping it around the tube i'm going to be using my hp office jet just regular office uh inkjet printer and regular paper you can also use um, Papelio vinyl, um, printable vinyl for inkjet printers. And then um, also they got labels on um, onlinelabels.com, which also work really good for um, label casting. So check them out and I will get this printed and show you how to wrap it around the tube. Alright, so now we got that printed out. First thing I'm going to do is just uh, scuff up this tube a little bit more. You want something for the glue to stick to. And then we'll cut out our label. I'm just going to use these scissors here. You can use a ruler and an X-Acto knife to get it nice and straight. as well but I'm just going to cut it out like this so just go all the way around it make sure you don't leave any white left And then I'm just going to be using a CA. That's going to be stick fast, CA medium. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on there. And just use a paintbrush to get it all around. And just push the excess kind of off to the side. Then I'm just going to give it a couple seconds to dry. Get a little bit more tacky. And then get your tube on there nice and centered. I did make the label a little big, so I'm just going to trim down the, the top and bottom after. That makes it a little easier so you don't have to worry about running short. But just work one side around. Then I got quite a bit extra the other way too, so I'm gonna make my line nice and straight, cutting up. And just fold her over on top of itself. And that's all there is to wrap in the wrap in the tube with your design. So I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and just trim my top and bottom. Use a black permanent marker. Just hit the white edges just so you don't see any white of the paper. So I'll do that quick. Alright, so I got my X-Acto knife here.
So we'll just take that and trim. Just a little saw in action here. So you don't rip the paper further down than the tube. So that side's nice and flushed up. And that side, now you just take your permanent marker, just hit the top and bottom. Make sure you don't get any white left over. So we're all good there. Now I'm gonna, with this regular printer paper, I'm going to put a CA finish over the whole top of it to seal it all in. So I'm going to do that on the lathe. Just with some regular uh, non-stick bushings for a CA finish. So we'll throw that on the mandrel. All right, so that's on there. And just with the little extra baggie from one of your pen kits, works really well. But I'm gonna use the same CA finish and just a little baggie over my finger. Nice slow speed. Just put a couple drops on there. Go back and forth a couple times. with some activator. Give it a few seconds to dry. And then I just flip my bag around to the other side. And I do it one more time. A couple drops back and forth make sure you get it all nice and leveled out hit it with the activator again give her a little quick spin drive Now we can pop it off there. These CA bushings are really tight, so they're not the easiest to get off. All right, so that's all sealed in with the CA finish now. So now it's ready to go into the mold. I am using this Hobbycast mold. It is for uh, Sierra pens and the uh, lever action or bolt action, whatever you call it. So just stick your self centering plug plugs in there. Push them in as tight as possible. It's also good to pull out on the mold itself. That adds a little bit more tension to it. 
Got a little piece of paper stuck in there. There it is. All right, so just push your plugs in there while pulling out on the side of the mold like that. That's the best way to get the best seal in there. So that's all ready to cast. I'm just gonna let it sit for a couple hours, um, let all the CA gases actually cure. You don't wanna get any uh, chemical reaction with your CA and the resin. So it's good to let your CA actually completely cure, even though uh, with the activator spray it is dry to the touch and stuff, but let that dry for a few hours, even overnight if possible. And then uh, we'll make up, mix up some resin. I know this takes about 25 grams. And I use the Lumalite fast for this. So yeah, I'll let that dry and then we'll come back and mix up some resin and pour it in there. So we'll get this resin mixed up here. I'm just gonna do it in one cup. Normally I would pour my A and B into separate cups, but I'm just, doing, <clears throat> just doing one little pour here. So we'll start with our A. Like I said, uh, we'll just need 25 grams. So I'll do 12 and a half of each. Or 13. Went a little bit over. And you can tear it. Now bring it back to zero. Do another 13 of the B. And we'll get that mixed up. This makes it up for a good minute. And I already have my pressure pot all ready. I got the hose hooked up to it for the air compressor. You always want to be ready. The sooner you get it in there and under pressure, the more time obviously it has to get all the air bubbles out of there. So I'll mix it up real good. And pour it in there. So that's what it looks like right now. Quite a few air bubbles. We'll just put that on our little carrier here, drop it in there. I'm gonna put you down here for a second. Get our lid on. Tighten them all up together. Seems to be the best way to get the best seal. Seems like if you tighten a couple down at a time could bend the lid and get air leaks every once in a while. This is a cheap hardware freight pressure pot. That also might be why you get some air leaks every once in a while, but tighten them all down equally and really snug. Then we'll crank her up to 55 pounds, nice and slow. You don't want to just pump the air in there. It could blow your resin all around, especially with my uh, me being on the top tray there. All right. So we're right at 55 there. We'll let that sit. I'm just gonna keep it in there for a few hours. Um, you can easily demold uh, the Lumalite fast in about an hour, but I'm gonna keep it in there for a few hours and we'll come back and we'll get her demolded and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, we're all ready to go. Got our 
ready to rock and roll here. Um, we got our right bushings for the um, lever action pen. And I got a nice sharp new carbide. We're just gonna be using the round carbide and taking nice light passes because these label pens do uh, have tendency of breaking pretty easily because you're only trying to adhere to the paper instead of a nice scuffed up brass tube. So just take it easy on these. All right, so I got the, that the shape that I wanted here. I got a couple little nicks out of it there. That'll stand, sand out. It's barely in there at all, but figured I'd just sand it out instead of risking going chipping it out anymore. So I'll start going through my grits here, 150, ranging up to 600. All right, I got that sanded up to 600 grit. We're gonna take our micro pads now. So I got my water, this is wet sanding. And a towel here. I like to throw a towel down so I don't get my lathe any more rusty than it is. So I'm gonna use my micro mesh, mesh pads ranging from 1500 all the way up to 12,000. Just gonna put them in order here quick. some uh, fine scratch remover, some novice number two, paper towel. I normally use a polishing rag. I'm all out right now though. So we got our tube all turned up there. We got our tip. We got our mechanism, our ink, and our spring. So we're just gonna start assembly here. I'm just gonna use a Bessie clamp here for the video. So I don't have to go back and forth to my vise, which I normally use. We're just gonna start by pressing the tip in here. I'm gonna actually take the tip off so it's a little bit flatter. Loosen up my clamp a little bit. And press the tip in. All 
All right, so now we're gonna press our uh, mechanism in. And you wanna press it in however you want, wherever you want your clip to be. I'm just gonna go a little bit off the Marine Corps logo here. So it doesn't end up covering it up. And we'll take our ink refill, press our spring over it, press that into the tip until that spring clicks back up. Take your tip, press that on, screw it on. And then you just press it down and lock it over. That's how you extend the ink out. Nice smooth mechanism, solid feeling. Polish it all up and you're ready to put it in a box and sell it. And that's all there is to it. They're labeled, casted, lever action, bullet pen. Very cool, simple project to do. If you're into pen turning and haven't done any uh, label casting yet, it's a easy way to personalize stuff, plus uh, do uh, business logos and kind of opens up a whole new market. All right, so I decided I am going to give away one of the blanks that I casted. If you subscribe to my channel and also comment down below on this video which blank you would want, I will message you and uh, ship you one of these blanks. So I got a purple, purple gold and uh, white magical gold with some gold flakes. I got a tangerine orange teal and stabilized white-tailed deer horns. This one is a variety of a bunch of different golds, a uh, silver and a piece of uh, stabilized dyed blue chola wood. Also with some metallic and copper flakes this one is a white and green with a pine cone and then uh, this deer horn is glow in the dark as well it's got both uh, or it's just one one gold uh, glow in the dark in the mixed in with the white but the whole thing kind of glows pretty cool so yeah comment down below which blank you would want and make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit, hit the like button, and I will uh, ship you one of these blanks. I'll probably uh, pick a winner in about two to three weeks, and I will contact you, so make sure you turn your notifications on. Um, let me show you a couple that I actually use these blanks on. This is that uh, Chola wood with the gold and the white. And then uh, here's a white and green pine cone. This is a Cuban pen. Here's a deer horn with the teal and the, the white and the tangerine glow in the dark. Here's another one of the Chola woods with the gold and the, the white. 
and the stabilized blue chola. And then, uh, I know I did a purple one. Oh, here it is. So that's the purple, the white, the blue with the gold flakes. Yeah, so if you want up one of these awesome blanks, um, I'm not going to cut this one into square yet. I'll just let that, leave that to someone if they want it. But the other ones are cut into three by, uh, three quarter by three quarter squares. But all right, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if I helped you out, and if you want one of these awesome blanks, make sure you subscribe, like the channel, comment below, and I'll see you next time.